don't think you need a huge audience. Don't compare yourself to people with millions of followers, 7,000 comments, whatever. It's not really important. Um, the most important thing is that, you know, your content, your storytelling is meaningful, is beautiful to, you know, in, in your point of view. Maybe I, maybe I think it's not great, but, but your audience will think it's great. Um, and that it will mean something to the people that are in the world that you want to kind of, you know, integrate. And so, you know, even if it's 5,000 followers and 200 likes at each post, it's huge. And you can really build something from that. So I really urge you to go for quality instead of quantity and, you know, try to kind of create your own, I hate to say it, niche, because in French it means the place where the dog goes to, to sleep and that's really not what I want for your brand. But you know, you have to create your own imprint into today's culture. And I think that's something to really work on, to work on your story, to work on your point of view, and to not try to copy everyone else and to really create your own language. It's really difficult, but again, it's not easy. Um, nothing is easy that, you know, really brings you a lot of joy and opportunities. Okay, so, and, and to, to finish with that, I think I was just talking about the circle of people that are important to you. And it's very important to recognize that when you start. So which world do you want to be part of? You need to find a platform. You can end up creating a new one, but it's very difficult. Whereas, you know, for me, for example, um, it kind of came over me, but I found a fashion platform and what I call by a platform, it's like, it's an industry, maybe it's a group of people. It's a group of people who like the same thing, have things in common and they have places where they meet. They have magazines they read or, you know, Instagrams they follow. And so they're easy to find and you can slowly kind of, you know, you can find them on a different, you know, on the podcast. You can maybe ask them some questions or, or say, hey, I have a newsletter. Can I ask you a question? You have to kind of gather these people around you and see if it's a fit, if you feel like there are, you know, there are common grounds that you can find and kind of create this sort of world around you and your entourage. I've always been a little bit different because I'm I'm a loner or something. And so I didn't want to stay so much into such worlds. So I left uh, the platform of fashion and now I'm a little bit kind of my own thing. But I, you know, again, my story is a little bit different. I started early and I made my name and all that. But I do think that um, finding a platform, so in your case, it can be wines. And so, you know, there's probably some festivals, there's probably some restaurants where you can go and talk with the chef and all these things. So, you know, connect with people and also don't forget that you will get as much as you give. So you have to also connect people, you know, don't just keep everything for yourself. Um, it's all about, you know, promoting others, telling them, oh, I'm going to connect you with that person, that person, and then people talk about you even if you're not here. And so all these things comes a lot. And, and I think that will be my last point because we're getting to uh, the end of the time that I set myself uh, for myself. Um, I think um, the idea is really to focus on generosity and that's why it's difficult because generosity demands something from you whether it's a lot of your time to answer people to make great content or it's you know connecting people together where you don't necessarily benefit from it but you know you're just creating good energy around you um, I do think that you know being a good influencer if you will it comes from adoring what you do and having a real passion for your subject and also being incredibly generous. Um, I said also a little bit narcissistic, 
let's be okay with that. I'm not saying that, you know, all influencers are just, you know, those generous, wonderful people. But it, I think it has to come a little bit from that. So do you have that inside of you? Um, can you share what you learn? Um, can you, you know, give back? Can you connect people? Uh, can you give more of your time than you'd like? All these things are really important. And then you can decide if you want to become an influencer.